Everybody, this is Beetle Five, and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to the death battle between Natsu and Ace. Now, again, this is another fairy tale versus One Piece death battle. Now, unfortunately, Zoro got the better of Urza in the last one, but mm -hmm. Natsu is literally like one of the most powerful anime characters. Period. He's like yeah. he's like at least on par with Goku in my opinion. Yeah. Almost nothing can beat Natsu. At least not in Fairy Tale. Nothing can beat Natsu. Yeah. So and I don't know about One Piece. Yeah, I don't know Jack shit about Ace and One Piece at all, but I mean I I don't know. He can generate fire, Natsu can eat fire. So I mean he, he, I, I I gotta go with Natsu with this one all the way. Yeah, and, and I don't think I'm gonna be changing my mind for this one. Oh yeah. So let's get this battle started in three, two, one, go. Right. In ancient times, the Greeks believed everything to be made of four elements. Earth, air, <laughs> water, <laughs> Avatar. Avatar. It's difficult to control. When the fire, fire Nation attacks! two combatants have mastered oh, the art of playing with fire. <laughs> Not so Dragneel, the Dragon Slayer Mage of the Fairy Tale Guild. And Portcus D. Ace, the feared pirate known as Fire Fist. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. All right. Come on, Natsu. You got this time. In his oh. infancy, Natsu Dragneel This is going to show a lot of spoilers, by the way, because I've never finished village. Fairy Tale, and but I don't think I ever will. Dragons it's yeah, too long. Down and killed everybody, including him. The end. <laughs> well, oh, shit. Boy. Fortunately, Natsu's older brother, Zeref, survived. Horrified by the violent fate of his family, Zeref desperately sought a way to revive Natsu. Eventually, he discovered the connections between life, death, and magic, and became obsessed. And so, he became the most evil and powerful mage ever, cursed to live forever and ruin everyone's lives. <laughs> but everything worked out, I guess, because he brought Natsu back. Just one catch, Natsu had to be revived as a demon, though this gave him the potential huh. to become even more powerful than Zeref. Shit. Unfortunately, Zeref had become incredibly dangerous to be around. Fearing for his brother's safety, he left Natsu in the care of his friend Igneal, who just oh, so God happened to be the Fire Dragon King. Natsu got adopted by a freaking dragon. Kinda weird since the <laughs> dragon killed him in the first place and his family. But whatever. Gets Dragon motion sick easily. Oh yeah. god, that's his greatest Dragon weakness. Slayer, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Mystical martial arts developed specifically to kill dragons. Wait, man, it's really back and forth with these dragons. Oh, that's Sting and Rogue's dragons. Daniel eagerly accepted his role as adoptive father. He taught Natsu how to read, write, and fight. But then when Natsu came of age, Igniel suddenly sent him through a time machine and poof! Before he knew it, Natsu was trapped 400 years in the future and abandoned by the only father figure oh, he ever really knew. Okay. I know that feel, little buddy. <laughs> I know that feel. I think, but was it? Of isn't Igneel technically inside him that whole time? I think. World, I don't know. Yeah. The time Natsu yeah. Didn't know that. Fortunately, it wasn't long before he found a oh, new demon family among the mercenaries. Oh, Urza. The <laughs> I love Urza. Yeah, it turns out being a demon trained by a goddamn dragon made Natsu pretty effective as a bounty hunter. Natsu possesses superhuman speed, impressive strength, and unbelievable durability. He has superior senses such as sight and smell, along with a mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Yeah, oh, Gajio's cool. With his uh, fire Gajio. dragon slayer magic, and you got one fiery cocktail that'll knock just about anybody on their ass. As the name suggests, Fire Dragon Slayer magic revolves around Oh god, that's literally a list of every one of his moves that he's ever said aloud. Yeah. Signature <laughs> move, the Fire Dragon's Roar. Where he literally shoots fire Black Fire mouth. Dragon or mode? He can engulf his hand fire in Dragon King mode, shit. Fire yeah, I'm behind the series. You know, we're gonna be <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> yep. Natsu has well over two dozen different ways to incorporate fire into his martial arts, wow. but his real strength comes from a move nobody ever really expects. He uh, eats it! Yeah, he eats fire! Like all mages in the fairy tale world, Natsu has happy. a limited pool of magic, <laughs> but consuming yeah, fire actually replenishes happy. it. <laughs> Not only that, he can consume a few different types of elemental magic as well. Oh yeah, I remember that. Talk about a shocking appetite! And because this is anime, eating lightning gives Natsu access to an all new form. Lightning Fire Dragon. Oh, yep. Yeah. That was how he took Natsu's down Loxus, I think. Or maybe not. I giving don't him know. a I brand new element of power. 
To increase his fire abilities, Natsu can enter Dragon Force. This oh. greatly increases his Dragon Slayer magic and physical prowess, oh, man. bringing Natsu closer Hello, to Jalal. the strength of a full-grown dragon. He's even starting to look like a dragon now. You think that's like an awful dramatic reminder when he looks at himself? But when his Dragon Slayer abilities aren't enough, Natsu enters his strongest mode yet. Fire Dragon King Mode. Whoa. In this form, Natsu has access to techniques only the most powerful of dragons could wield, such as the Demolition Fist and the Fire Dragon King's Roar. At his strongest, he could wipe out exactly Holy 973, 973 people! And great massive explosions so big they could wipe out a whole You're just, overdoing just, it. Just, just to prove that the manga really overcompensates. Both magically and physically. Oh, He's man. strong enough to lift an enormous stone slab several times larger than himself. Comparing this stone to Natsu's height and compensating for the density of the stone, it's likely this block weighs about 135 tons. Holy Talk shit. Talk about never skipping arm day. He's also fast. He's fought in multiple battles where he's moved faster than the eye can see, putting him well over 9,000 miles per hour. <laughs> and when fighting opponents even faster than him, Natsu has used his keen observation Survive Jalal's meteor level magic. One melted a Colosseum with his. That was amazing. I was like at the very end when he reunited Spirit Tail. He melts an entire Colosseum with, his, with his, just his feet. And like burns everybody's clothes and Lucy's bra and everything. It's Against arms blazing. Except this impulsive approach to fighting often leaves massive amounts of collateral damage in his wake. Remember yeah. how we mentioned his firepower could wipe out a whole town? Well, Episode sometimes one. that's not completely intentional. In fact, this hasty attitude may be his greatest weakness. Nah, his greatest weakness is how easily he gets motion. <laughs> yeah. Put him on a moving car or boat and he'll be rolling in a matter of seconds. That flying cat that he's gone. around should start carrying vomit bags. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the stranger downsides of Dragon Slayer magic. Natsu's dragon-like senses can overload his semicircular canals, creating a feeling similar to vertigo. But more importantly, Natsu has a bad habit of burning through his available magic rather quickly. Yeah, but who cares? He can just chow down on some tasty flames yeah, or lightning and regain to fire again. his magic. Just one problem. Consuming oh, any Lucy. fire or lightning that Natsu has created himself will not replenish his reserve. Okay. Huh. Oh well, Natsu's still a badass. He really is. It doesn't matter if he can't eat his own flames, he can eat Ace's flames. Go south. So. And he continues to fulfill his old dragon dad's wish of making the world a safer place. Hell yeah. By setting it on fire. <laughs> I think it's time we stop playing around. Let's get down to the real fight. I'm gonna shatter you into a million pieces. Damn right. He so got this. Well, Alright, let's see what fame, Ace got. Power. Gold D. Roger, the king of the pirates, obtained this and everything else the world had to offer. And then he was brutally executed, leaving everyone to run off searching for the king's long lost treasure, the One Piece. However, unknown to most, Roger left behind an heir, albeit unborn. Terrified the Marines would execute Roger's son as well, the child's mother held her pregnancy for a total of 20 months. 20 months! Which really oh, can't happen? Mother of hell! <laughs> that was not even happen! <laughs> Sheer inconceivable willpower. Well, Though shit. she died in childbirth, her last act was to give her newborn son his name, Porcus D. Ace. Soon after, Ace was adopted by an old acquaintance of his father, Monkey D. Garp, and raised alongside... Oh, he's made, raised by Luffy. Oh, wow. He was raised with Luffy. Luffy. That's crazy. Over time, Ace, Luffy, and Sabo grew very close, considering themselves brothers and together forging a lifelong pact. Huh. They would forever live life as free as possible. And for Ace, that meant following in his father's footsteps. It was the pirate Hell, life for Birth with hell for 11 Ace extra was months. A Jesus on fucking the sea, Christ. Thanks to his incredible strength and combat aptitude. He I wonder if his bounty's higher than Zoro's. I'm glad to check back up on that. <laughs> yeah. time, Zoro's bounty might be higher. Joining the ranks of the deadliest pirates around. He even claimed one of the world's most sought after treasures, a devil fruit. In the One Piece world, if you eat yourself a devil fruit, you get yourself a superpower. In Ace's huh. case, he ate the Flame Flame Fruit, which, guess what? Whoa. Granted him the power to create and control fire. But with new power comes a buttload of badass new ways to kill people. Get this, this guy's gun hands are actually- Oh god, he's got fire gats! I mean, I guess that's accurate. <laughs> that would be Ace's Jesus. fire gun ability, and it's just one of many attacks- that Well, that's awesome. Power provides. That's pretty neat. Man, I love my gun. <laughs> oh shit, what movie is that? I really need me some gun hands to go along with it. Try gun? Stick, sometimes I really, really wonder about where you <laughs> That's another anime. Door, like, every day. Come on, Wiz, pay attention. 
<laughs> anyway, these fire abilities it's are like what he's earned made of fire. Fire Fist Ace. Because he can turn his punches into blazing balls yeah, of red Yeah, he's like a fire, fire spirit. Forget gun hands. Give me some of that. Manipulating fire comes easy to Ace. He can conjure up enormous pillars of flame so intensely heated they Saint can incinerate Elmo's enemy fire. projectiles, acting as a okay. sort of fire shield. He's also got some really weird names for his attacks, like Firefly, Fiery Doll, and St. Elmo's Fire. Uh, uh, when did Elmo become <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, that's referencing another phenomenon, where Plasma appears to discharge a couple point at all. Oh, that was great. His version is not like that at all. Instead, he conjures up two javelins made of pure fire and hurdles them through enemies, burning them inside and out. Yeah, I'm gonna go with his version. Firefly and Fiery Doll is a combination attack where he creates several small balls of green plasma which surround a foe before detonating Whoa, in a shit. massive series of explosions. He does have one attack with a really cool name though. Oh, what's that? Crossfire! You're <laughs> gonna <laughs> gonna cross fire, Wait a minute, what is that? A game uh, back in the 1990s. However, oh shit, like, I don't think I've heard of that. attack is undoubtedly his great flame commandment, Flame Emperor. Flame which Emperor. is a pretty big name for what is essentially a fiery spirit bomb. But oh, good shit. god, if you see that thing coming your way, don't even bother trying to run. You dead. There's a <laughs> you <more>. dead. <laughs> the devil fruit Ace discovered was of a rare breed, a Logia fruit. Because of this, Ace also gained the ability to transform his entire body into fire. When oh. he's in flame on mode, physical flame attacks on. pass right through him like he isn't even there. Right. And if his fire body is somehow messed up, like oh. someone dropping a giant candle snuffer on him, his true human body would be totally unaffected. Actually, since receiving this power, Ace has only been badly hurt by other Logia users wielding an element with an inherent advantage over fire, such as magma or water. Man, huh. it's like he's invincible. In a way, but it's not an automatic defense. Ace must make the conscious decision to transform his body. But thanks to his blindingly quick reflexes, he's able to avoid almost any attack. He can even react quick enough to avoid a shot from a sniper. In this instance, he was reacting to the gunman in view. Assuming this gunman was professionally trained, Ace would have needed to react in about a quarter of a second. But who needs speed when your fire fist can blow apart five ships all at once? Considering ships like these would likely be constructed oh, of teak wood, to accomplish this, Ace would need to hit each ship with at least 15,000 pounds of force per square inch. <laughs> so getting hit by Ace would be like getting hit with a wrecking ball. And when <laughs> he throws more fire into the mix, he can wipe out an entire town. Ace's last extraordinary quality actually has little to do with fire at all. If there's anything he inherited from his mother, it's his insane willpower and endurance. He once fought a karate fishman for five straight days. Man, with that endurance, he's gonna make some lucky lad or lady real happy someday. Or, I guess he would have <laughs> okay. if he didn't. Okay. Oh, hey, heads up. Huge spoiler warning in three, two, one. Yeah, he's dead. Like, totally dead. <laughs> Okay. Like many Logia users, wow. Ace what killed him? cocky in his ability to avoid being hit. In fact, he practically forgot what pain even felt like. And so, despite all of Ace's fantastic feats, his most impressive was when, for once, he chose to take a hit, oh. sacrificing himself to save his brother, Luffy. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Okay. Damn. Did you do that for me, Wiz? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sure, of course. You're a goddamn liar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't allow that. I'll take care of this on my own! Huh. All right, okay. Back. Okay, uh, well, no, I'm just gonna win. Yeah, I gotta go with that too, but, but first, here's what I'm talking about. Chowing down on some scrub. Yeah, blah, blah, it's just blue apron stuff. Okay, but what I think is that, uh,. Yes, Ace can obviously use like a shit ton of different fire abilities as can Natsu. The problem is though, Natsu can eat all yeah. of his flame attacks. But here's the other weird thing. Unlike Natsu, doesn't look like Ace can take physical hits since he's made yeah. of fire. So I have to wonder then how Natsu could hit him because he said like water and magma could affect yeah. him. I'm wondering maybe if Natsu could make his fire hot enough to the point where it could become magma and damage Ace. So I'm not sure. I feel like it's a bit of a stalemate. You know what's going to happen? Ace going to turn his whole body into fire and Natsu's going to eat. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that would be the ending kill because I, I can't yeah. see any other way that he could beat Ace if he can't hit him. Yeah, he's Natsu's way faster. Yeah, well, yes, Natsu is Natsu has much better reflexes. He's much stronger than Ace is as well. So, 
I don't know. I feel like I feel like I gotta go with Natsu because yeah, he, 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 I can't I can't down him on this one. So he'll make it work. He'll find a way. He'll win. Oh yeah. All right. So let's watch this kick-ass death battle. But right now, Food. it's time I'm hungry. for death I'm hungry for, for some fire. <laughs> I, I got a real fire in my belly now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh look at that. This is a safe uh... Wait 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 stop. Uh -oh. Urza, it's Zoro five. No, this isn't the same place. I don't think it is. All right. Give that back, or you'll have to deal with me. Uh, uh, <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Jesus! It. I'm gonna mess you up. All right, come on, now. Fire! 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 Oh, Ooh. yeah, I see it pass right through. Wait, are you seriously <laughs> made of fire? <laughs> Don't work. Oh boy. Time to turn up the heat. Oh boy. Fire Dragon King's Roar! Wait, what? She's already using the King's Roar? What the fuck? Yeah, but that's only one part of his ultimate. What He's the not in his ultimate form. What the? Okay. Well, like, that's way too fucking early. Fire Dragon King's Demolition Fist! Uh, uh, he didn't even use any of his regular attacks! Oh. Oh. Not bad, Hotshot. But you can't even touch me. Fire Blast! Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, can we not? Can we not let this happen, please? I really. There we go! <laughs> ah, hell yeah! Oh! Wait, are you seriously eating fire? <laughs> Try eating this! Oh, he can! Oh! Like I said, you can't touch me. Uh, I'm not trying to. Lightning Dragon Fire! Lightning! Oh, yeah! Dragon Rose! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah! Yeah. All's well that ends well. <laughs> uh, damn yes. right, Natsu! Woo! You! That's a burn if I he ever saw that one. Uh, This so battle was that. anything but clear cut. Natsu held the advantage in speed and strength, and Ace trumped him in endurance and defense. Still, neither held an advantage so much that the other couldn't keep up. Both were mostly immune to each other's fire attacks. Because fire is Ace's only real weapon, this means he really didn't have anything that could kill Natsu. Natsu was definitely strong enough to put Ace down, but with Ace's intangible fire form, Natsu couldn't even touch him. So, sounds like a stalemate. Very nearly. Yeah, Luckily said. for Natsu, he had an ace in the hole. Oh, oh wow. Well. Oh, thanks. Natsu oh, thanks. has had far more combat training than Ace, yeah. and is known for using his superior senses to study his opponents and take advantage of their vulnerabilities. My curses can change anyone stupid enough to touch me into a living bomb. No matter what I try, this human just consumes my curses. He huh. might even be stronger than he was when this fight started. When Ace realized Natsu could eat fire, he had to become more liberal with his true physical form to avoid being consumed. And this was what Natsu was ah, counting on. Yeah, he being was. faster than the eye can track, Natsu was more than quick enough to get a good hit in up close. A perfect opportunity to use a fast, deadly elemental weapon Ace's body wasn't immune to. Lightning. Ah. It's not like Natsu was gonna run out of magic or anything. I mean, there's freaking fire everywhere. As his speed, strength, martial arts, and versatility surpassed Ace, all Natsu needed was one good shot, and he made it happen. Yeah. In the end, Natsu was too hot for Ace to handle. Oh. The winner uh, is Natsu Dragnail. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. That was great. Okay. I'm Chad of Blue Boomstick. I'm Ben of Blue Wiz. Stick one, around, we're about to announce who fights I next time. I just, and if you I want to watch like exclusive commentary so on this episode, click that little box, about, sign up for a first membership trial. It's a great way to support the show. Yo, yeah. All right, let's see what we got. <gasps> Sub Zero! Yeah! Versus Glacius! Ooh. I don't know who Glacius is!
Me too. Maybe he's from Killer Instinct? I, I don't know, but wicked love Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, awesome. Really needed that. Most anime battles turn out to be so displeasing, but that was really great. Love oh, it. yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment up for else you react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.